Hey guys, welcome to another quickie makeup review. Today I am going to be reviewing some of the shades from the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Mattes. And also one shade from the new um, Less Chocolates. Mm. I didn't pick more of these because the colors were literally very similar to each other. There was a lot of nudes going on. Um, apparently nudes is really in these days and also that's what i did with the other infallibles i picked a couple of nudes but not all of them because they were all starting to look the same to me so let's get on with it Okay guys, so what I love about these um, liquid lips is that they go on really creamy and then slowly, maybe two minutes later, it dries, out, dries down completely. Um, it is matte. Um, the colors are very pigmented. I really like them. Uh, Price-wise, $9.99 for each of these. Not worth it. <laughs> but... You can go to Walmart and get them cheaper. You can go to Target, get them cheaper, maybe even online. To be honest, I love them. I really like them. The only problem that I have is, okay, the applicator is really big, right? And it's kind of, for not for the light colors, but for the dark colors, it's really hard to line your lips perfectly with it. And like make sure you don't have any mistakes and when you do have a mistake it's like all over your face and it's kind of hard to come off eat like I was trying to get them off with my wipe and it was actually pretty tough to get them off but I think they are such lovely colors um I wore let's see I roll yeah this one rose blood I wore it all day today as a wear test and I ate with it and I drank with it the only thing is um right here the butthole like right here um it came off everything else was totally fine so when you reapply you know with the same product or with a different product that's the same color all you have to do is go a little bit in the middle and you're good that's what I did it lasted me it looked beautiful I was very happy okay so for the sweet tooth one which is the new um chocolate ones that came out ah uh, okay it smells like hot cocoa but in a way that i actually don't find appetizing it's a little strong for my taste it also reminds me of my babies right here the fake hoodas um they actually smell like chocolate too so let me see hold on they actually smell exactly the same like almost i think positively almost exactly the same and i mean even though the hoodas are a little more smaller when you actually buy the real ones they actually look like this kind of glass you know and I think that wasn't very original of L'Oreal. Um, Huda already had that going on. But hey, you know, uh, a lot of products are coming out with their products looking the same like that. I think it's just a thing. I don't really think anybody's trying to copy each other. Hopefully not. But um, yeah, if you like these, go for them. Um, $9.99 is a little pricey. Might go to Walmart instead. But I think they're kind of worth it. I, I like the pigmentation. I like the kind of candy smell they got going on. Um, not really a, a fan of the um, chocolate ones. I think that their color range is very limited. 
um, very just nude colors pretty much. Um, I think just because it smells like chocolate doesn't mean it has to just look like nudes and browns. It's just my opinion. So yeah, thank you for watching. Tell me down below in the comments which shade was your favorite. I will put them down in the description area and thank you guys for watching.